These two teens that grew up with my music, these two girls, I think they're 16 and 17. They were blindfolded. I don't know who initiated that. Uh, it was really cute though. And their parents or their moms didn't tell them who they were, where they were actually. And uh, one of the girls just, she said, well, I hear a lot of little kids here. So, and then one of them went, uh, is this Mr. Ray here? And they took off their blindfolds and show enough. You know, so it was really cute. Well, my mother has, for the past week, she's been like, okay, big surprise, everybody. Be ready, do not make any plans. And so today I went in the car and we picked her up from her house with her mother and they put blindfolds on just us two. And we were taken to the library. We both had a CD from that his first CD that he released. And I know I saw him, I don't know what town, I was four or five and I went to a concert of his. And you know, he's been a childhood star for us. I remember he invited me to go up on the stage with him like as a, like a really young kid and like I'll never forget that. So he's like a really, you know, good guy and I think his songs are really good for kids, so. I hope that the kids uh, 10 years from now can like have the same feeling that we do because uh, it was like a great experience to see him again after all these years and it would be really great for him and for the kids to be able to maintain that kind of relationship. Um, looking back on the songs now I realize like what great messages mm -hmm. they have that I didn't really know that I was absorbing at such a young age so it makes me really happy knowing that where two examples of how these kids carry these lessons and I really hope that this generation of adorable young kids will carry the same messages that are the foundation yeah, of who we are today.